So if you're looking to elevate your braid, this is what I want you to do, okay? We're gonna start off middle part and we're gonna section two pieces off either side in a straight line. Next, we're going to be doing a really, really tight sort of like cornrow braid. You could do a French braid if you wanted to. I'm going to do a Dutch braid, nice and tight, okay? So just a regular braid, guys. I have got lots of videos showing how I do this. Nice and tight. And we're just going to braid to the crown. So once you get to the crown guys, you're just going to continue to braid down, just popping a little elastic in there and then you're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So next you're going to take your thread and two darning needles so you don't stab anybody in the head and you're going to come from the insides out, inside, out with the other needle, like so, and then we're just loosening that up, you're going to come through the middle with both needles, then I'm just going to cross those twines over, like so. That is the start of our little crochet bit that we're doing. So I cannot sew at all, so if I can do this, anyone can do this. You're going to take this right hand side and we're going to push it through like so, start threading it all the way through but before it gets to the very end you're just going to come back through that circle there like so. Then you're going to come to your other needle, you're going to come to this side, you're going to go from inside to outside so push that through and again before it gets to the very end you're just going to go through that little circle and you can just tighten it up slightly if you want to. So now I'm going to come to this side again. We're going to come inside to outside, looping it through. Other side, inside to outside, looping it through. And I'm just going to cross them over to tighten again. So you're just going to start to get this little sort of crisscross formation happening and it looks really, really pretty. So we're going to continue on all the way. You can make bigger gaps if you want to or you can make it shorter gaps, it's completely up to you. You're just going to continue going up the hair, don't forget to do that little loop as you go. Swapping the sides, swapping the needles. So actually, once you get going, it's actually quite a quick process. So to finish off this style, I'm just going to come underneath this little braid here. And we're just going to do a couple of turns underneath and then we're going to finish off with a little knot, tighten that right up. So that is the style done, of course you could continue that all the way down or you could do two regular braids and do the same technique. So let me know in the comments if you like this look and I'll see you again very soon.